Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to go from radians to degrees and backwards on this particular Casio calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, folks, so for the first part here, I would like to calculate sine 30 and that 30 is actually in degrees. So I want to make sure that my calculator is in degrees. Now, if you go to the screen and you zoom in a little bit, you're going to see there's a little D there. That's basically telling you that the calculator is in degrees. Now, if you're not sure, you can click on Shift Setup, which is Shift and this button here. When you do that, you're going to get your options of how to change between degrees and radians. So I'm going to click on 3. That means the calculator is now in degrees, and I'm going to work out sine of 30, which is equal to 0 0.5. Now, pi over 6 is 30 degrees in radians, so when I actually do this, I should get 0 0.5 for sine pi over 6. But if I do sine of pi over 6, put that as a fraction there, shift pi and go down to 6. What you'll notice is that I'm actually not getting 0 0.5. And that's because the calculator is in degrees mode. We need to change this to radians. So we're going to click on shift setup and press 4 for radians. And we're going to press equals again and notice how now the calculator knows that the mode is in radians. So sine of pi over 6 is equal to 0 0.5. And folks, that's pretty much how you convert your calculator from radians to degrees. Have a look at the top there. That should always give you an indication of what mode your calculator is in. So if there's an R, it's in radians. If it's a D, it's going to be in degrees. And if you have any further questions, drop it in the comments below, folks.